Once your students have participated in a Nearpod lesson, whether it be a live participation or a student pace, you can get an activity report to see how your students did and how that well they went through your lesson. To do that, you log into your Nearpod, and then on the left-hand column over here where you have all your different options, you're going to select reports. So reports are going to give you session reports for any Nearpod lesson that your students have participated with. So just to give you a little preview of what the screen looks like, just you can see I've had three Nearpod lessons that I assigned to students, whether it be student-paced or live participation, and the number of sessions next to each one indicate how many times I have assigned this. So let's take a look at this first one here. I had two sessions assigned, and both of these sessions were student-paced. You can see there is a timestamp which will help you determine which class participated at this particular time. So by clicking on the session, I can get my activity reports. And there's a number of different reports you can look at. You can look at individual student reports as to how each student did. Um, but when you first land on the report, it's going to give you the summary section here. So I only have one student in this class that took this. But based on the summary, you can see here, on all the different activities that could be completed or worked on by the student. I can see here I had 100% participation, meaning every slide where there was interactive content, the student did something on those slides. I also had a multiple choice question, and when you include multiple choice questions and you pre-select the correct answer, it gets automatically graded. So I have one multiple choice question, they got it correct, so they got 100% on this part. So if I wanted to take a look at the exact answers for this particular drawer it for all of my students, I could click on this report here, and this would show me the question, and it would also give me a thumbnail of each one of the student responses. If I go back over to this drop down, I can do the same thing with any of the other interactive pieces that I had in this particular lesson. So for my collaboration board, I can't view a preview here, but what I can do is click on a view only or editable version of the board so that I can see what my students have put down on this board. So I can see here I have one response from Tim Tebow and his favorite movie is The Breakfast Club. So now I'm going to just go back over onto my Nearpod screen and I'm going to scroll up and I'm going to jump over to student reports. So student reports, you have a drop down here where if you have a number of students who participated, you can see how that individual student did on each one of your Nearpod slides. So I can see what they selected as their correct choice, and they got 100% on this. I now get a larger thumbnail of how my students did on this Draw It activity. Matching pairs, I can see that the student completed it and they had five matches and they only had five tries and so they got 100% on that and again I could view my collaboration board. On any of these you can download an Excel version of this or you can email a copy of it to yourself. Once the students have participated in one of your session, the reports are generated pretty quickly so if you want to look at it right after a Nearpod session you give it a few seconds, refresh your screen, and the Nearpod uh, report should be available for that particular lesson.